Hi, in this video we're going to review how to add resources that you find online to your Zotero library using the Zotero browser extension. Zotero is a free open source resource management tool that helps you collect, organize, and share your research. The Zotero browser extension is an easy way to store information and resources that you find online in your Zotero library. In this video, we're going to review adding a book, an article, and an image to your Zotero library, but the process is very similar regardless of the type of media you're adding. Let's say you're doing some research in the Columbia College Library Catalog, and you find a book that you want to add to your Zotero library so you can cite it in a paper later. Let's say this book is Teaching to Transgress by Bell Hooks. The first thing you're going to do is click on the resource link to go into the library record. Next, you'll click on the Zotero browser extension on the top right hand corner of your screen. I've pinned my connection to the top of my browser so that it's right next to my search bar and easily accessible at any time. And I'll go ahead and click on this little book icon and you can see that the extension has automatically saved the information about this book into my Zotero library. Resources are stored alphabetically in your main Zotero library, alphabetically by title, so I can scroll down to Teaching to Transgress and see that Zotero has pulled all of the relevant information, uh, resource type, title, author, an abstract, publication information, and even the link where I found this book so that I can go back and create a citation later on or reference this as I need throughout my work. An article to your Zotero library is very similar to adding a book. Once again, I've navigated to the library catalog at library.colum.edu and I found an article about Carmen Maria Machado's storytelling in In the Dream House and the Husband Stitch. If I want to add the information about this article to my Zotero library, I'll first click into the library record and then I'm going to click into the full text information. This means that Zotero will be able to grab more information and a PDF of the full text of this article and save it to my library. So I'm going to click here. I've got the entire article that I'm interested in. And I'll once again navigate to the top right hand corner of my web browser and click on the Zotero connector. Here, I'm saving this instead of to my general library, put to a specific folder in my Zotero library, Queer and Diverse Pop Culture. This allows you to quickly organize your resources as you're saving them into your Zotero library. When I navigate back to Zotero and go to my collection, Queer, Diverse Pop Culture, I can see Tales of Bluebeard's Wives, Carmen Maria Machado's uh, storytelling, and the information there pulled directly from the article into the Zotero account. Information about this article is also available in my main library, alphabetical by title, Tale of Bluebeard's Wives. It's the same information. I also can see that there's this little PDF icon next to the title. When I double click, I can see the full text of the article that Zotero has saved for me. Finally, it's important to note that Zotero is great for gathering information from a variety of sources, not just your typical research sources such as articles and books. You can save information like newspapers, blogs, and images to your Zotero account. Here I'm at the collections page for the Art Institute of Chicago, and I found this beautiful image, Cow's Skull with Calico Roses by Georgia O'Keeffe. If I want to save this image and information about it to my Zotero library, Similar to books and articles, I'll just navigate to the Zotero connector on the top right hand corner of my screen, click save, and it's going to save it to my library, unless I, of course, again, choose a more specific folder. But I think my general library is good for right now. And when we navigate back to Zotero, again, alphabetical by title, cow skull with calico roses, Zotero has grabbed information on the type of work, its title, the artist, where I found it, etc., that I can use to generate a bibliography or just to have this information saved for my use in the future. Saving information and resources you find online to your Zotero library is easy using the Zotero browser extension. For more information on using Zotero to collect, organize, and share your research, 
Visit our Zotero Research Guide, which is linked in the video description and available through the Research Guides on the library's website, library.colum.edu.